skate, ride bicycle, wheelie, any stunt thing at that, them, man. Yeah, man, Marvin, them can tell you, man, about the thing, man. When, I, when we see the cinema, man, we live half Manning's Hill Road now. Uptown style now, because I have to take my little time and kind of move up to Parasites, bro. Right? I tell you. Yeah, because the premium, the premium that gets away. What? Yo, brother, listen to this. Straight up there. It's a scandal bag, I take a move, brother. Yeah. <laughs> brother, remember we are in the street, you know, me know the people them love me, but me is a man, me paranoid. And here, here now, as a as a youth, we start get a break. Um, if you're not careful, the blessing of the break hmm. become the curse of your life. Yes. Dear. Um, it can derail you to becoming a notorious murderer and ah. becoming a productive human being. You yeah. have to take yourself at some point. So, Remember, on. say. I come, son. All right, go on. The first, the, the first look you move two look a shirt in a scandal bag. I mean, I move now big way for your man go say boy, sing a move. As some people yeah. and, and come live a, and come live a even deal. And then my brethren you know, name Howard. Uh, everything when me attack a serious thing, you know. And my general when name Matal and we have a van, you know. But just shout him from mm -hmm. big cable and wireless phone them time then. And so yeah. <laughs> bring my bed. Tell me just me look a bed me have jack. Not just a figure with it, because I don't know. Thing real. See him. I would have said, yo, bring me a little bed and a space and I live a even deal. Until Maryville Terrace. Until my space of Mona Commons, Golden Circle. I start of the whole of a university lock, brother. Some of you know, I'm big them in a youth. When I go over there, so a fart is strong, you know, the whole of the youth them from Mona Commons, the whole of the youth them from Tavern, you know, Jack. Till people feel like it's your uptown me come from in you know, Up till this day, you, know, you can't tell no man to how long me uptown. You can't tell no man say ginger is not an uptown youth. For real, for real. Um, what more I ask you about ginger? Like, yeah. everybody have the moment in their life where, as an entertainer, that moment defined to your say, you start. Like, when, oh, when was the first time you interact with a crowd and decide, said, boom, book, like, me an artist for real, like, work with you that experience. Then. Yeah, brother, there's a standout moment that I won't forget as long as I live. See, I did a song with Father Barry Saman called Rise Above. I went to Trinidad. We had Freddie Jackson at the time, brother. In the stadium at Trinidad, we are Freddie Jackson. And when we went over there, we realized that the song was a major song of there in Trinidad. So we had to rehearse the song in the lobby. We had to rehearse that song in the lobby. See? And a, and a piano in the lobby. And the night of the show, brother, the night there. When Father Barry said, Yo, Ginger, King. I you know, me never see that far with the yet in my life. Yeah, the whole fear them go so I swear. When me say, I'm like the tree by the riverside where they grow. So then go out now. The whole fear them go so. But we always, you see, when you're on Father B, do, no matter what, you always know if you come so. At them things, put them on the brother. I can't get to them, man. And you can't bring it either. So we learn for the stay so. Humble. Yes, yeah, so most time I will leave for people them see me and they must say, oh no, him that. They must say, yo, I did. So oh, no, because we learn the game that we they say. You could have mash up 10 stage show. Always make sure you say you always come. So. No matter where you do. Cause me, me do all heap a crazy thing where the general have to say, yo. Me don't know. People love you. Yeah, man. A whole heap of place. When I tell we, we go um a place named up here in Italy, brother. And when and when the whole show done, brother, may I tell you, I in the newspaper, me see myself in the morning. To show you the, the impression I create as a opening at the time. Because I saw Ginger be known 
because I hope not for Father Barry Sim. Yeah, man. Next man, you know, we are forward on the plane, man. I see some white people, I read them paper, I see them, I look for me and I say, them, them men, give me the paper, brother. I say, what? You know me? I don't understand nothing no what I say, you know. But I just see myself with a mic. So. <laughs> All right, you know, so the first me, I know, say, you two are with Berish, right? Yeah, me never know. Me yeah. never know. We never know that very story there. You know, somebody just see a Somebody, I say, you used to jump. Hi, people know the history. Because you know, me know, you know, me is a street youth from Jaro to Exodus to Arrows to Donga Jackson Town, Donga Studio, to Donga Chris, Oxygen, everywhere. Anywhere, Studio thing I go on, Footer Hype will be there. See? So, I basically know you're from in the street and me know about two massive hit songs where you have, but me know you know reggae market and enough people don't understand like Jamies and them man they have whole heap of album. Man, um, has gone. Boom, boom, boom. My yeah, me respond to that either too. All I wanna know and me bust that the song there, Stampede when it come to me, I don't even know the song. Big up Stampede. Um Stampede and Earl from Asylum, you know. Yeah, you have um, you have like Turbulence. We have about forty album, and most people don't know them them works. They understand what I'm saying. True. So the, the reggae market is totally different from what the norm of what people used to over here. So, see, so we know say a huge from the reggae market. But yeah. what more you do for me, um, Ginger? Yeah. I want you sing off the first one where we know in a Jamaican diaspora where it's like, a ginger, eat this. All right. <laughs> All right, ginger. That song there, did so powerful. All right, that song there, remember, say, you had have other song where Boss Pan the reading before, and then that song they just come like, Usain Bolt, I run from around and one part, I come finish the really and just kick down everything else. Actually. But you see the next one, though, will become a big hit. Remember, woman, wicked to me and broke Which my heart. You know? So you see, when, you see when the next song they did come out, brother? Yeah. Me have a different love for the next one, then, brother. <laughs> Yo, more, more, your boss have a piece of the next one, then, 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 brother. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I have a couple. I have a couple. I have a couple serious questions for ask you, but more on get the performance part out of the way. Earlier, me and you talk, you say you want to do a tribute to Father Uri, and I tell you never to do it until you're on the live. So, yeah. if you want to go into that right now, yeah. make we go into that right now, because R.I.P. Yeah, Father Uri. Yeah, brother, I want to take time out because Father Uri, is a man where, where I'm going to tell you, the man is full of love for God. A few years ago, fa Papa Chesley they put her on a show I watch it with me, Father Ural, Joseph Bell, Ninja Man, General Trees. I was a young people soldier. When I go home, I think when you read him, them, Father Ural is a youth. I want to advise you. But you sure, end up, I jump out of the place, brother. I don't really get the advice if Father Ural is that. You know, it touched me on one different part. And I was there when Father Yura I am very sad the big song. I said, Oh, no. Yeah. When Father Yura I do the big song with Father B. Yeah. So watch the most time. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Could be of yourself, you know. Yeah, man, of the powers, you know. Yeah, could be of yourself. Um, condolences yes. to the family of Father Yura. And enough people know Father Yura is the first DJ. In existence, the first and uh, start yeah. DJT. Zin. Originator. On the on the on the aspect of DJing now, um, Ginger. One of the important questions I want to ask you, I want to hear your views from as a reggae artist, because he's not even a dancer, but he's a reggae artist. Um, yeah, man, reggae. The music, the music was 
pointed finger on the other day by Andrew Holness, the right honorable Mr. Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica, said that the music is responsible for the violence happening in Jamaica today. Are you in agreement with that um, statement or you're not agreeing with that statement? I want to hear your views on that. No, I disagree with the PMN because no one knows the truth. Time, AK rifle, a politician bring that up. But what I would, what I would say to the artists them anyway is that if we see what's going on and if we have love it, he's above you know? Started full responsibility because in the beginning there was the word God. and that word let's not be naive and saying that the word cannot create something no? but that we have to say. I mean a total I am in total agreement with what you said because music is like a mirror of actions Zine, now before the songs come out, there was the behavioral pattern. Crime did a go on, people did a dead, yeah, shot did a fire, before the, the song them even start singing. Now, my problem is, when are we going to see politicians taking blame for their part in this horrible mayhem that has been plaguing Jamaica for centuries, for decades? Brother, at that me ask myself, because at the end of the day, we know the business. I get a lot. I get a lot. Not saying, see, I just him when we see him, and a fantasy, and I like a man dream and we are and a It's a reality we are living on. We know, we know the, the problem a politician cause in a Jamaica from evil. We are going to go, we are black then. We are going to go, we are black. I show the people them something. 14, then 1494, when Christopher Columbus them found Jamaica and said, him discovered Jamaica. Remember now we murder half the, 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 the Arawak people and them on the time. Look how politics play some serious role in, a, in a the history of Jamaica, where people need so in the 16th century now, the English them forward in and get rid of the man them from Spain, the Christopher Columbus and them, or where them are near. Get rid of them man them. Now the Englishman come in with a system or shit him. Then him start bringing slave car. When we attack certain things, we have to just get them from the beginning. We're not chop. So them start bringing we now, because Jamaican people forget say we are slaves. Don't forget that. Them start bringing we in from Africa, and our only purpose was to just deal with sugar cane in a them time in a Jamaica. And a we make the European people them rich. So I'm mm -hmm. of have we work, we should we kill we do anything we need, but them in a them big place I live. So I somehow. We are gonna have none of the Maroons and we are gonna have Marcus Yavu and we are gonna have Rastafari movement. Because sometimes you hear man a reason they would have left out the Maroon. You can't do that. Because even before Marcus Yavi and Rastafari movement, the Maroons play a pivotal part in the in the history of Jamaica and for curve things and defend the things certain way. So remember none of the fight for we and keep them and cut them. Until it yeah. gets so sticky now, where the politicians and them now, you know, brother, start murder some man with locks like me, you know. All because the man, them, I tell themselves, say, yo, you yeah, hear me? We can't work with that system there anymore. Say, see how politicians come in and I do them something from a long time. Foot. But you see, and that are, most that are before the music. Huh? And that are before the music. I got to want to show them because if, if you don't know the history of Jamaica, you will think of music and mash up the country. Remember, me not got the one in him, Henry Morgan, we chop out, pick me out a woman, Delina. That's why me is a man, more time I listen to your king, and me I say, 
Yo, the youth know where my talks about. You see people with eyes and show the light. This like people don't care. If it was love, God Almighty come from the internet, brother. And I hope them eyes, them that crucify him. Remember now, Jesus Christ never do nobody not know and show them love in a brother. Tell me now, the history of the Bible, even though enough rust burn it, but me not born Bible. I found glory in the Bible, brother. Mm -hmm. So, let us assure you something. It's some pieces. Our So when you like I and I come and, I, and I, yo, look at this. I'm going to go to the here. I'm not going to go no. So a long time politician has played a certain role in the society. Look here now. Rasta now from in the 1930s. Be a fight. Be a fight. Be a fight. I'm going to go to the I get a Jamaica and chop off it. And the biggest one where we know about was 1963 when the man them Coral Garden incident where me sing about in a brother. I and I sing a song about Coral Garden incident 1963. Um, Good Friday when murder all heap Jamaica. So like you know, are you like you know we know the history. I know I said the man like you start a Rasta movement because it wasn't a man with luck started it. I know that. The man who started is Leonard Percival Owell, which inspired by Marcus Garvey with the Marcus Garvey movement, which is the UNIA. And man and man start branch off on a do them. So it's so now Leonard Percival came back to and start preach the doctrine without even laughing. But, but, but hold on, hold on, more stop That's you right, right there, so. You know, stop. More stop you right there, so, my general. Spraga Benz just put up a thing for him post, I say. Uh, the first Rasta man, then I would have put up in picture. I'm a comment on that, and I say, I beg to differ. I so would that? not classify Leonard Oil as the first Rasta man because. Leonard Owen never know nothing about black unity, never know about Selassie or any uniform movement until it was taught to him by Marcus Garvey. So I would have to put Marcus as the first Rasta man. The reason why Leonard Owen was in Jamaica promoting Rastafarism is because Marcus Garvey was on the international market a fight for black empowerment and black unity. Marcus did a fight Rasta thing on a major scale. He never have the time to come back to Jamaica, to do Jamaica, he might do the world. He might take on Queen Elizabeth and, and um, the one from Italy and the whole of them. So I send him, send Leonard Oil to do the work. So I, I rate Leonard Oil, you know. Don't yeah. get me wrong, you know. But I cannot give him the, the chip on his shoulder as the first Rasta man. The chip yeah. on the shoulder for the first Rasta man have to be Marcus Giavi because Leonard Oil was just merely reiterating what Marcus told him to do. All right, now, Futa. It's like two, is a reason now we are going to agree to disagree. It's yeah. Like, like me now, all we know it as Rasta, and all we know Rasta is that Marcus Garvey start the UNI, which is the Universal Nigger Association, or Nigger, we call it. So, right. Let's right. Add, Leonard was a part of that movement. He was a Gaviite. No, 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 no. No, no. Leonard used mm -hmm. to work for Marcus Gavi in the office. He used to do filing and paperwork. Yeah, he but, used but, to... Uh, but no, well, uh, no. Well, uh, no. When you say he was a part of the organization, it seemed like he was a part of the, 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 the membership of the organization. He was not. He used to work for the demon then. He used to work for the British from the ship. I don't know, I don't know how you know it, but listen now, as I said, to a reason, we have to agree to disagree. No, 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 but, but, but no, when a reason to disagree is when none of we're not sure. This is no, what I tell you. No, what I tell you, you say, what you are saying, I don't really want to tell you, say, you're not sure, but you have to just listen to my part to come. Listen, no, I don't say the history, but Leonard was, was a Gavi. You know, I'm going to show you. Yep. Yeah, but I'm to start from the middle of the story, my brother. How him become a part of the Marcus Gavi movement? All right, listen to this. He was... Now, 
Me, he was not original. He used to work right. for Marcus. All right, listen to this now. Let me just brrr, I'll show you all. You know, yeah. Jamaica gets a way. The DG, which is the gang gun guru, went away to Panama. You see, yeah. he went away to Panama now. He joined the, the US, something other service, the army, my cook. Yeah. When, so right. I, he went to New York now. Marcus did already be a New Yorker in Harlem. So the story about him is he read a book called the, the, the Holy, the, the, I think the Holy Pibi, which is them calling mm. the, the Black Scroll, like the Black Supremacy, the scroll of the Black Supremacy. So when he started, right. you know, but the prophecy how Marcus get into the whole Rastafarian thing, you know. Is a prophecy that Marcus Yavi made said that look to the east for the coming of a black king. Because you have uh -huh. to notice it. Is where is not Marcus Yavi took on Rasta movement. Is Rasta movement took on Marcus Yavi Dada. Any real but, but, Rasta will move. Eh? All right, I'm going to show you a thing. I'm going to show you a thing because it's more spiritual than physical. Yeah. Um, Remember, say, Leonard Howell had no knowledge of his imperial majesty before Marcus Garvey. So this is what I assure you, say, Leonard Owell, for me, mm -hmm. based on the knowledge where me know, mm -hmm. cannot be the first Rasta man. I never know nothing. Maybe you know it, based on the knowledge where you know, it's based on the knowledge where you know, that's why, I'm just going to show you something for that. Because you mean someone will do a whole heap of reading. You see, based on the knowledge where you know, look at me, I got to tell you something again. It's called the promise key. You see, when you read a book here, yeah, you got to tell mm. me a story. This is just one, may I show you. The promise key. Yeah, but can that eliminate the fact that yes. Leonard Owell, well, yeah. I know, Leonard, Leonard Owell, we would, who's getting the props as the first wrestler man, yeah. never knew anything about Emperor Ailei and the coming of this black king until it was told to him by the honorable Marcus Mazayagavi. Garvey. Yeah, but what is First thing, on, it's not Marcus when, like, It's like on me, I have a reason right now. It's not Marcus Garvey mm -hmm. told him that personally. Marcus Garvey was just making, Marcus Garvey was just doing his speech and telling him to the no 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 no, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. Brother, listen, listen why me I tell you, say around. What I'm going to say, say around. Le How did Leonard Owell start to work for Marcus Garvey in the first place? How? You know that history there? How him become, you didn't know, so the man will start um, um, Muslim movement. Also, is a man like um, Leonard Owell, where them say start Muslim thing. Did you know that? What I know? Did you know that the man who start Muslim thing was so powerful now? He was Marcus Garvey driver. But you're not listening to what I'm telling you. You have to listen also, sir. I am telling you. Mama, listen up for what you have Garvey. Marcus Garvey at that time, the Jamia. And him went to Harlem and because Marcus Garvey was a Methodist preacher. Marcus Garvey is a Christian. Check Christian back in them. But Silasi was a Christian to them. But Silasi was also a Christian. Silasi was also a Christian. Yeah, but I say no, but listen. Marcus Gia so we have, have nothing to do with Brother, listen to this one more time. Real Rasta can tell you this. Marcus Gavi is not a part of the Rasta movement and never be a part. I you know, sir. I just say I gotta disagree with everything. Any Rasta tell me that I disagree no, with them. Because no, listen, no, no. listen, no, no, you can't say me no. no. I mean, just look at you and tell us that he was a Christian too. No, you don't know. I remember. Re no, no, yes or no. Was well, I know. Yes or no. Was Silas a Christian or not? Yes, sir. So okay, the so listen. Me. listen. At the church, well, I know. Oh, well, I know, brother. Well, I know that means something. Know what me I say? Let's let's reason from this again. Was it there a point? Was it there a point when the right Marcus Mosai Agavi and Emperor Celestia was at odds on a deal? 
Yes, sir, because Marcus Giavi made a speech and criticized the emperor about the war that he fought with the Italian scooter. So, he ended up with a... You know, say you never know this. I'm going to tell you now, because I look like you don't know. You know. Yes. Make sure yes. before you say I don't know. You know. Brother, you know, say, the poorer class of Jamaican people never took on to Marcus Giavi until Marcus Giavi died. Did you know that, sir? But you know, you know what me just said to you, sir? Marcus Garvey was international. I sent him, sent Leonard, go do him work. No, brother. Leonard. No, no, sir. Brother. All right. Yes, he went. Brother, yes, he went. Yes, Leonard start preach the Rasta doctrine. Like a man like you. Start preach the Rasta doctrine. Marcus Garvey, you keep him, brother. No, 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 no. No. Read that book and no, but, but brother, read. but brother, but brother, Leonard, what will, what will I know? You have to talk about that book there. Leonard, put a look at this. What I know, man? You have to talk about the book and show me all. What I know? What I know? You have to show me all these books. And you know, listen to what I say. Leonard, how will himself? Leonard, how will himself? Himself, what I'm on a mouth. So he never Leonard knew nothing. You know where Leonard came to J.A. Because the man father died and the man came down. No, listen to me. No, listen to me. Brother, listen to me. You read comment. Listen to me. I mean, you read the Lord comment. Them. See? Listen to me. Leonard yeah. Owell himself. Watch this. Leonard Owell himself mm -hmm. admitted that he knew nothing mm -hmm. of Emperor Selassie I before yes. Marcus Garvey. Uh, Leonard Owen himself said he never knew nothing about no black unification and a unification of black people. All of that when he come teach at Jamaica for Rastafariism was taught to him. Well, I know, was taught to him by the right honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. He did blank to the whole of that. So there's no way I we can give the man we learn from the God. And say him at the first rest of man when the God teach him everything. Come on, cause right. God, man, cause they go regular man. Yo, Puta, me can, me can, you can give me, you can make me show you that vibes. Show me, yeah. What I wanna say to you about the gang. See? The gang. Mm -hmm. PG. That is mm -hmm. that about Leonard Percival Owen. He's the he's the gang. The, the right. Gang. I am first get the I am get the first thing for gangites, like as a gang. He might the first man who used that so, term. So, while he was preaching his doctrine in Jamaica, come here, me have peace and everything. In that time in Jamaica, there was a revivalism going on in Jamaica in the 1930s. So you have from all down, the, the man with the bedwood, one man in it. You have, so you have bedwood and you have a next man, I think a Robert Hines or one of them man there with the next thing called revivalism. So to how powerful them man they is, them man they join in. And the first people them in a Jamaica, when, when the Gilbert came in, in 1933, and wrecked Jamaica, and wrecked St. Thomas the most, because I mean, I hear history now, is St. Thomas right. them was the first people to come to Rastafari movement. That's why right. here we have Bobo Hill out of St. Thomas God. Okay. Right. Yeah, God. Remember, you know, mm -hmm. me is a man grew up with, all right, this is, my brother reach out to your lyrics from Central Village. I'm father right. of Roman. Father is a, is a Rasta man from Trench. We part Bob Marley. We part Tata. We part Georgie them. So, a them man there from me a youth, him see some eloquent and me can observe things, brother. So, me get them history from him as an elder. Then me now start buy books and read. So Marcus Giavi might have inspired Leonard Percival Owell. No, 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 me not accept that. Me not accept, brother, me not accept, well, I know, but me not accept that either. When they say might have, because Leonard Owell himself speak from his own mouth yeah. that he knew nothing about black tribalism, about unification of black people, about Emperor Celestia, none of it until... He met the God. You speak about the gang and, and all these people. Marcus Gavi teach so, Futa, you are saying that Marcus Gavi taught him about Rastafari. 
Marcus Garvey teach everything to Leonard Owell that embodied Rastafari, sent him back to Jamaica 